welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore um, setting personal and professional goals and strategies for achieving them. I am an academic, as I said, I'm also a wife and a cat mom and a passion planner ambassador. That means that if you use the link in the description of this video to purchase any of the products um, that I mention in this video, specifically for passion planner, um, I do receive a small commission off of that sale at no extra cost to you. And there's a discount code that you can use if you want an extra 10% off of um, existing sales. In fact, there is a sale going on. Uh, there's a sale going on this week, but by the time this video posts, it'll be over. Um, but just check back because Passion Planner has sales all the time. Um, so today's video is going to focus on all the cool things that I got for Christmas. Um, specifically, the things I think you guys would like, uh, stationary related items. And I am also going to go over my planner stack for the year. Um, not so much of a stack really, but I'm just kind of going to go through the notebooks that I'm going to use for the various um, things that I'm going to do this year. So I wanted to show you some of the cool things that I got. and. I kind of like some of these videos, so I figured maybe uh, you would like it as well. So let's begin. Um, if you've been watching this channel, you know that my grandparents are, um, their health is fading. Um, so we went to visit them in California for a brief um, extended weekend before Christmas. And while I was there, I uh, was looking through some of my grandma's things and I found um, some really cool stuff, some like old, clippings that she saved in a folder that was really, really neat, uh, but also some stationary supplies that she is no longer going to use. And so I was able to take some of it with me. And um, she actually, she's suffering from dementia at the moment, so she really doesn't remember a lot of things. Um, but what I found really interesting is that she had these little to-do pages that go into a ring binder, three by five, and um, I just thought it was kind of cool. I didn't know this about my grandma, that she also had this like list making thing going on. Like she really cared about it because she actually had a stack of these. So she clearly um, kept a lot of lists. Maybe she even kept a, a ring binder, but I, I couldn't find the ring binder. Um, but I just thought that was really cool. And I, I snagged one even though I don't use ring binders myself because I just kind of wanted to um, to kind of think, like see it and, re and remember her, you know, think about her. Um, so that's one of the things that I got from her um, stationary closet. Also, um, she was a huge lover of Hawaii. She lived there for many years, I think almost 10 years. And um, so she had a ton of Hawaiian stickers. Um, I actually have one that I grabbed all pow, which is like, all good. Um, and, um, and these little decals. Um, so I just thought these were really great. And again, they remind me of her. So I thought, you know, why not, you know, there's a huge stack of them. Why not take a couple? Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but, you know, just to remember my grandma by. Um, the other thing that I grabbed from her closet is this uh, pad. Um, she actually had a number of these pads, but this was the only pink one. And I actually have, like, never seen a pink pad of paper. I'm sure they're in office supply stores, but I just haven't paid that much attention I've already used it, as you can see, to prepare for um, a talk that I'm giving today, actually. And um, I grabbed it because I love the color. Uh, I love notepads. I use them all the time, uh, clearly. Um, also, I really liked that it has her handwriting up here, um, March 3rd, 9.30. I'm not sure what this was for, but I just kind of liked that. It was, it's, and then clearly she, like, was doodling um, <laughs> in the prism area here. So I just thought it was really cool to see her handwriting all the time, you know, on this pad of paper. So I took this from the closet as well. So I have, you know, these things basically from um, California from my trip to see my grandma. Um, so that's, those are the stationary items that I grabbed from her um, closet while I was there. And I just thought it was a nice way to um, like keep her here with me uh, as I'm, as I'm doing a lot of things um, involving similar products to the things she loved. Um, while I was in California, I also picked up, not from my grandma's, but from a gift shop, um, this really adorable notebook. It says, Greetings from San Diego, and on the back, it's um, Southern California, and it like has more of the coastline, and then underneath this sticker, it says Los Angeles. So it's kind of like the map of like California coastline, and um, I just love it. I mean, look at the colors, look at the little like 
the little doodles of the people and like there's Balboa Park and um, you know for those of you who don't know I was born in California and I grew up there um, so all of these places are as familiar to me as the back of my hand um, so I just you know thought this notebook was so adorable it's five by seven um, if you're interested in it it is um, the brand is Spartina 449 with a little mermaid icon and um, it's ruled so just so you know in fact I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of here so you can see Oh, that's really cute. It's got a little graphic and then see it's ruled on the inside and it's got the little mermaid icon in the corner. I have no idea what I'm going to use this notebook for, but I just saw it and needed to have it. Um, <laughs> I just adore it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's my next journal. I'm not sure yet, but that's definitely that. And then the other thing I picked up while I was there was this Carlsbad um, sticker because that's actually where my grandparents live. The part of San Diego they live in is Carlsbad. Um, and I just love the retro look of it. I'm not sure where I'm going to stick this yet, but I'm just excited to stick it somewhere. So that's coming. Um, that's what I took. That This is what I, um, my souvenirs from my California trip. Um, and then for Christmas, I received a number of cool things. From my mother, I received this pack of stickers. There's 162 in here, um, stickers, and they're like just really beautiful nature stickers like the butterflies the birds the fish um I actually kind of want to pop it open here with you guys to see some of the other ones I mean I can see them on the back but I'm gonna see I'm gonna go closer um and this brand if you're interested is Janine's Art is the brand Amber Lotus looks like maybe the or maybe the Janine's Art is the is the sticker pack and then Amber Lotus is the brand um these are just beautiful though. Oh, look, they have little like sayings, kiss, fish kisses, celebrate, best day ever, ever, breathe, go play outside, grateful, let go, yes please, life is good. Oh my gosh, look at this strawberry. I love it so much. That's going to come out probably in February for Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah, these are awesome. So loving that. Loving that my mother knows me so well as to get me stickers for my planning. She also got me this notebook, Foods Eaten, Sightseeing, Fears Conquered. Um, again, maybe in a future journal. Uh, not sure exactly what I'll use it for, but I just, I like the kind of old book spine graphic on, the, on here. Um, I, I like, I even like this, even though this font, co co like slash color combination is probably not like the most aesthetically pleasing but it's really adorable. And um, this is the mocking, the mincing mockingbird in case you're interested in buying this. So I think my mom also got this in California. Um, yeah, so that's another great notebook. And um, then for what my husband got me. Um, so he got me this book by um cindy gunter baldo she does she's also known as llama letters on instagram if you want um, to follow along she's a great youtube planner um i definitely was drawn to her immediately when i was looking for other youtube accounts that dealt with planning in particular and she has this really cool book to teach you how to hand letter because as you guys know if you've been watching this channel i am not a hand letterer and i figured it would be really cool to kind of um Maybe in my hobby hour, every so often, um, practice this and just sort of like have fun with it. So I'm really excited for that. Got me that as one of my gifts. He also got me this um, pack of washi. I was just like obsessed with this when I found it on Amazon. Um, it's just like, it's got like kind of an old map here with um, some book, like some handwritten text here. And this one's like old advertisement, it looks like, in French. These look like um, ticket stubs, basically, or receipts. And then these are post labels on the edge here. So I'm really excited to find a way to use these in my planner. Um, I'm a sucker for anything kind of like old-fashioned book images, graphics, handwritten text, posted you name it like I I'm really excited for that so that's one other thing that he got me he also got me 
two packs of the Tombow markers that I had in my wish list. Um, I chose to go with the bright palette and the primary palette. Now I'm kind of wishing I had like chosen something on the opposite spectrum <laughs> or at least like one of them to be on the opposite spectrum. Um, a little less bright, a little more muted, but I'm working on building my uh, Tombow collection up. Um, what I really liked about these packs too is they have this blend pen in them so I can have a little more fun, especially since I'm learning, I'm going to learn hand lettering, um, blending the colors together with that blend pen. So I'm excited to see what, uh, what I'm going to do with these and um, to, to kind of keep growing my, my pen collection. Um, the other thing he got me was this washi. This was also on my wish list because I just wanted to have like a washi in almost every color. Um, you know, I was just like, I just wanted a variety. So it's not like super pretty or anything, but it, it does give me some options, especially if I want to layer. Um, I just need more colors. And this was the one on Amazon that had the most colors for this amount of washi. So I picked that. Um, oh, I forgot to also show you, let me move this. I forgot to also show you this that my mother got me. Um, it is a collection of art pens. And these are, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to say this correctly, but Bienigio, perhaps. Um, they're twin type alcohol based ink pens. And they have one of the fine, finer tips on this side, and they have more of a typical marker tip on this side. Um, I did go ahead and I like made a color swatch page for these so that I could really understand like what the colors were going to look like on paper. I think I have it in this book, if I'm not mistaken. The only thing about these pens though is they bleed through most paper, I discovered. Um, so I did go ahead and make, make a swatch with the numbers um, to get a better picture of what they actually look like. And um, But as you can see, like ignore these these drawings um, but as you can see like it bleeds through and maybe I have a heavy hand I'm not sure but like even so like even the lighter shades you can see bleeding through and this is you know this is mixed media um, art paper so I just like probably won't end up using these in the passion planner because the paper is even thinner than the art paper but I have actually used them to do a number of cool things like I did, if you guys take a look at my Instagram, I did create a piece of art with my word of the year on it using these markers. Um, I also um, have recently been practicing hand lettering <laughs> and um, kind of, this is when I brainstormed like ways to be brave for my, um, for my video on my word of the year. Um, I made like an evil eye with it. I've just been kind of like playing around, um, brainstorming things for my uh, academic research series videos coming up. So I've been playing around with the art pens a little bit. And what I do to help um, is I, I have a piece of, I, like a miscellaneous piece of paper that I put behind the page so that it doesn't bleed onto the page behind it. Um, because as I said, these are very beady, but um, I, I love them. I love the variety of colors. They're beautiful to look at, beautiful to, to play with. So happy that I have these art pens. And stay tuned because I'm probably going to be hosting some live hobby hours where I play around with some of this cool stuff that I'm showing you in this video. So that's another thing that my mom got me. Um, and then one final thing that my husband got me that I want to show you guys is this amazing hand-painted Dalla horse all the way from Sweden. There's a shop there that makes these, uh, they're like the official Dalla Horse uh, creators and they hand paint every single one of them. And um, the funny story about this is my husband really wasn't paying attention to what size horse he was ordering. And um, he just picked like, you know, to be fair to him, like he picked the cheapest one because these are really expensive because they are hand painted and they come from Sweden. So he picked the cheapest one, not knowing how tiny it would be. <laughs> and um, so even this tiny horse was forty dollars. So he, so it came in the in a in a like a padded envelope type thing. And he actually it was an Amazon envelope, and he actually was like, oh my god, um, 
they just gave us an empty envelope again because this has happened in the past. So I was about to um, register a complaint, you know, that we never received the item when he was like holding the envelope and all of a sudden he kind of felt something in it and he was like, oh my God. And he was so embarrassed. He had no idea that he had ordered such a small horse, but I love it. I love it so much. I just, I can't even tell you guys, like my ancestry is Nordic. Um, I love everything about the colors, the style. I love everything. So his mission, he says, is he's going to get me additional little horses or like ones in various sizes to add to my collection. So I just wanted to show you that because I, I love it so much. It sits on my desk, uh, on my actual above my keyboard so I can see it whenever I'm working, which I just love. So that was a surprise gift. Didn't know it was coming. And then um, I did receive an Amazon gift card from my aunt and I used that to buy some books that I'm going to be teaching this spring because they no longer give physical book copies to teachers. They give us access to a digital copy, but who the hell wants to teach out of a digital copy? I don't know. So anyway, I bought these. Um, really excited that I'm going to be teaching um, these texts this spring. Um, the first one here is Exit West uh, by Mosin Hamid. And this one here is Home is Not a Country by Sophia El Hilo. And I just, they... I actually, these are new to me. They're going to be new to my students, I'm pretty sure. Um, really excited to share this with them. Also, I, I ordered a new edition of Palestine Plus one, uh, 100 Plus, and that's, um, no, it's Palestine Plus 100. And it is a collection of short stories that are like science fiction. Um, I, my understanding is they're like little sci-fi, little maybe a little fantasy, little um, magical realism really excited for these texts. Can't wait to go over them with the students. So um, these are books that I got also with my Amazon gift card. And, oh, and I'm including things that I also used um, some Christmas money to, to order. So this is the, uh, it's in the Stars Passion Planner sticker book and it's Zodiac Signs sticker book. So I'm like, you know, not hugely into astrology or anything like this. However, I just love these stickers. Like I saw them on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I need to have, I need to have this sticker book. So um, I took advantage of my December discount code and I bought this book um, with the Christmas money I got. So just aren't they beautiful? Um, I happen to be a cancer sign and that is... Here's some of the cancer stickers. I think there's two pages per sign. Yeah, these are some more cancer stickers. I think my stickers aren't as pretty as some of the other stickers are, but I still really like all of them. Virgo stickers are cool. I think the other side of me is Virgo for sure. Ooh, look at Scorpios. Those are beautiful. Yeah. I just love them. I love them. I can't wait to use them. Maybe I'll use them for people's birthdays. But then also, like, if you didn't want to focus on this, the astrology part so much, I mean, you could just use these, like, decorative stickers for any for any occasion, you know. So excited about that. Um, and now um, the final thing that I did buy for myself with uh, a gift card I received, a TJ Maxx gift card, um, and that is this little agenda. Um, it is... Planner Fringe, designed in California, Clover City. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know much about this brand or anything, but I it was a, a, clearly a discount in TJ Maxx, and I decided to pick it up because what I realized is I really needed a separate planner with just months month views for my social media and content planning. Um, like I still put notes to myself in my passion planner about what I need to be doing for those things, but I needed to have a bird's eye view of how the content was going to unroll, like unfold throughout the month. So this is like January, for example, and I've color coded it to know what's what, but it just was so much easier for me to determine like which videos I should do in which order and like, you know, how, where, where they were going to drop and so on and so forth. Um, so that's why I picked up this planner. It's just a bunch of month views like so, with a, like a little notes column, a little forward looking um, calendar, and then um, in the back, just notes pages. So I thought this is perfect. I can take notes on like ideas I have back here and I can plan out my, my content schedule here. Um, 
So this actually leads me to the final bit of this video, which is the planner stack for the year. Um, so I'm definitely including this in the stack because it's going to be what I use to plan out the content. Um, and for those of you who are interested, I have links to all the content that I produce in the, in the description of this video. I have an academic blog that I try to maintain on a regular basis. I have a podcast that I'm going to be relaunching in the new semester. Um, I am go I have this YouTube channel and I have my Instagram account. So those are the pieces of content that I, um, that I produce on a regular basis. So that's, um, planner number one is this one. Um, then I also have this notebook, not a planner, but a notebook. Um, I don't actually remember who gave, I think my mom gave this to me. It's just some random notebook that she handed off. It doesn't even have like a brand name on it or anything. Um, and what I decided to do with it was create um, an index system and take notes in it. Academics are always attending professional development things, at least most of us are, and and or um, in my case, I'm always kind of on the lookout for learning new things. Like this is the notebook that helped me learn how to record and edit a podcast. I have a whole section on podcasting because I attended a webinar that went over like how to use Audacity. Um, I have notes here on book launches, um, how to publish with academic publishers. I have notes from conferences I attended. I even have notes on machine learning in here. Um, like basically machine learning for humanities people who don't know how to code. Um, I have all kinds of notes in here and I have the pages just hand numbered and my little index um, key on here so that I can find things. You would not believe how much I use this notebook on a regular basis. Just the other day, I was, someone needed a resource for something and I was like, I know I have, I know I have a resource for that. I know I wrote it down. I looked at my index, I found the right page. I sent the person the resource. Um, some academics, some of you wondering, might be wondering, like, do I actually transcribe the, do I actually like type this out later? I do not because, um, first of all, who has time for that? But secondly, um, but secondly, I actually find it easier to find what I'm looking for in this format. I think I would find it a lot harder to, to remember like which file I had saved that note in, um, than I would just flipping through this book. So um, this is actually what I'm going to be taking notes on today when MLA, when my MLA session starts. So I'm really excited for that. I think if you are an academic, especially, but just, you know, anyone in general who likes to take webinars and things, you should absolutely have a notebook where you keep all those notes and then make sure that you do have an index key, even if you have to, you know, gerrymander one like or, or jerry rig one like I did here with tape and paper. So that is one notebook, too. Um, I already showed you this notebook. This is just my like mixed media art notebook. Um, I just like goof off in here. Um, I did like, you know, so I'm trying to figure out color schemes for my podcast. I did end up like making my own logo for it in here. Um, I'm still like really interested in doing something with this typeset tray um, imagery that I've been working out. I did some like work on my um, on my areas of research in here. Again, podcasts. So some of it's like related to things that I'm doing, but some, some of it's just goofing off. You know, like this is totally a goof off page. I love to just sit down and make art sometimes, you know, with no purpose in mind. It's a lot of fun. So I have that as a notebook. Then I have um, the Passion Planner Journal. Um, if you're interested in this, again, there's a link in the description of the video. Um, this is a soft cover. It's kind of like a, what they call vegan leather, but it's just like faux leather. Um, with the little upside down triangle passion planner logo um, and you know a please return to and then just lined pages this is my personal journal I keep you know notes about what happens to me and what I'm feeling in here um, on the back it says it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to start this is definitely one of the passion planner um, mottos and um, it has th two green ribbons like all of passion planner products do and then a little um, elastic thing to hold it together. So I just love this. I picked this journal because the paper is amazing. It's lined, which I personally prefer for a journal. Um, but you can use this for so many things. I mean, you could make it the journal you keep notes in. Um, it, you know, you can make it into an art journal because the paper is the um, standard passion planner paper. And with like Tombos or um, other kinds of art markers, you could do like an art journal. So um, 
definitely keep this one in mind if you're looking for a journal. Moving on, I have then my Passion Planner Daily. And um, I don't use this every single day, but definitely when, when I have a lot going on in most of the semester weeks, I will use the Passion Planner Daily to help me narrow down what I'm going to do for that specific day. So I look at my weekly planner and I decide off of those to-do items that I put in there, what am I going to do for this particular day? And I actually love, like this is today's um, plan. Sometimes I decorate and sometimes I don't. Like this is a not like this is marker decorating, but not sticker decorating. These are stickers from the Empowerment Passion Planner sticker book, and just a Passion Planner orange marker. And um, what I love about this again is being able to decide like what off my to do list, what off my master to do list, my weekly to do list, am I going to do for the specific day? It helps you. It gives you like a schedule area so you can put down like what you're doing that actual day. Then it gives you um, an option to put like your game changer goal. You know, what are you supposed to be working on? Then your personal and work to do's. Just free space to doodle or I put stickers here sometimes. Self maintenance. The best thing that happened today I learned. Today in one word and mood. Now you don't have to do any of this stuff if you don't want. If you just need a place to figure out your schedule to write some to do's down and then like a blank area to take notes. This is still a perfect um, daily uh, option for you. I love this side of the notebook because things pop up, right? Like throughout your day, things just come up that you need to capture and it doesn't necessarily fit with your weekly overview or even your monthly overview if you do that. Um, some of these things aren't calendar events and some of them aren't even like, like this email I have to send later. You know, it's not so important that it needs to go on my like weekly list, but it is something I need to do today. And having this area over here to think about it is great. Also, a place to forward plan stuff. I do I use the space for that all the time. These are things I want to do in the future. I did that over here, right? Um, so it's just a great space to do that. Now, obviously, I don't want to leave it in this day because I'll forget what day I did it on, like I thought these thoughts on, but I'll move it to the right notebook later. Um, but just having the space to do that and it's just wonderful. So that's the Passion Planner Daily. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, there is a, like in the beginning, there are month views. And between each month, there's a self check-in. And you can set a game changer goal for that month, for the next month if you want. Um, so that's all at the beginning of the planner. But then most of the planner are these, um, these day pages. So you can see how that looks. So that's my daily planner and it's beautiful um, rose color. And then finally, last but not least, is this mama. This is my major passion planner, my main passion planner, my main planner. Um, and it is in the marble, it is in the, um, this cover is like kind of hard, not a soft cover. Although I think they've changed the cover since I ordered this one because this is a undated from last year that I turned into an academic year calendar or planner. Um, these are the flush, uh, these are the non-flush tabs that Passion Planner um, provides. As you can see, they do get a little wear and tear because they stick out, but I just love the colors. Um, and then, so it does offer you like a month view. So this is January, current month. Um, so you can, you know, forward plan. Like I put people's birthdays and if I have like meet like special meetings, like this is MLA, this is this week. Um, I also then go and I write down what I did each day later, like just the most memorable thing. Um, so I can have a bird's eye view of like what that month was like. So I did that in December, for example. Okay. Um, I sometimes use this as a, like a month, um, vision board. In this case, I went and I did my word of the year exercise here. You set monthly goals here. You jot some notes down about things you want to do in this month here. And then you come to your week view. You're going to sneak peek at. Um, this is this week, for example, and you jot down, you can jot down, you can use this space however you want, but I personally write like um, meetings and appointments that I have throughout the day. And then I fill in what I did each day. So I have a record of how I spent my time. I also use these to-do lists heavily for personal and work. I use this space for a variety of things. Lately, I've been writing like movie lists down in here, but you can use it for whatever you want. This is where you write good things that happened. 
this week's focus. And that's pretty much it for the week. So you have that. And then in the back, there are blank pages that you can use for a variety of things. Like right now I have a vision board back there for the new 2022 year. I have um, some bucket lists, like my winter bucket list. I have some party menus. I have some trackers, like I'm tracking how much I spend on planner supplies so I don't go too overboard. Books that I'm reading. So you have a lot of options and then a cool folder in the back. Okay. So that is the passion planner, the main one that I'll be using. And this is my planner stack. I mean, I say planner, right? There's really not, there's only like three of these are actual planners. The rest are notebooks, but just so you know what I'm using this year, um, you know, just in case you guys are interested in your, um, and you, you know, you like these kind of stack videos. I do. I know I do. So hopefully you do too. Thank you for watching this Christmas haul slash planner stack video. Again, if you're interested in any of the Passion Planner products, I do have links below to the Passion Planner. If you use it, I get a commission. It helps support this channel. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, please drop a note in the comments. I will be happy to answer it to the best of my ability. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned because I have some more productivity videos. I also have some more academic videos coming up and I'm seriously considering having a couple of YouTube live sessions where we do hobbies together, or pursue passion projects, maybe some like academic writing hours. You let me know if you have a preference to drop it in the comments and thanks again for watching.